Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to another video. Um, I know I haven't really posted in a while, gave any updates on the car. Um, a lot of you thought that I was gonna be selling this car. Um, yeah, so I just wanna mention real quick, right before we get into the wheels and stuff, I wanna mention I'm gonna be keeping the car, I'm gonna be building it again. So make sure if you're not subscribed already and you've seen my videos in the past, my racing videos in the past, you guys know what this car is capable of. So if you guys see my videos, make sure you guys subscribe because all that's coming again. Um, but today we're gonna be uh, doing these uh, wheels. So these are the stock, these are stock Q50 rims. So these aren't even stock uh, Q60 rims, but I personally like these more. Um, I had the option for stocks to get the Q60s or the Q50s and um, I just liked how these look more so, and they were cheaper. So I ended up getting these. Um, but yeah, real quick, I just wanna mention, um, a lot of you did think that I was gonna be getting rid of the car and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so I'm just here to clarify that I'm gonna be keeping it. Um, I'm gonna be uh, building it again. Um, you know, if you guys thought the car was pretty quick back then, just, just wait on it. Um, yeah, so I ended up finding out that the Z1 uppers that I have on this car weren't even three inch. So I didn't even have three inch downpipes. I didn't even have a three inch exhaust. I didn't have cutouts. You know, I had bad injectors. I had bad turbos. Um, yeah, so. I mean, this car was not even close to its full potential. And, uh, you know, that's what's going to be coming up. So make sure you guys subscribe. You guys don't want to miss out on it. Uh, this is definitely going to be one of SoCal's fastest Qs, if not the fastest Q60 out here in SoCal. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But yeah, we got the wheels right over there. We're going to load them up. We're going to take them over to my boy Ped shop. Um, once we get, once I get there, I'll drop their ad so you guys can follow them. That's the SoCal tire plug right there, man. So, uh, yeah, one more look. This is how they look. Let me see if I can back up for you guys. This is how the car looks on the stock wheels. So it's not bad, actually. Um, the fitment, I'll show you guys the fitment real quick. I mean, the fitment's not too bad. When you see it driving, like on the street, it's not too bad, but when it's sitting, you can obviously tell that they're pretty sunk in, especially the fronts. You can see they're pretty sunk in. So yeah, that's gonna change today. And uh, yeah, these new wheels are gonna be sick, man. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention, the car is on stock suspension. I don't know if you guys can tell, probably not, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's stock suspension. Um, so it's not gonna look the best, but it's gonna do for now. These are gonna be my new daily wheels because these were nice for, for a while, but I just can't get over how sunk in they are. Um, so I want them to poke out just a little bit more. So I got a little bit more aggressive wheels than the stock ones, not too aggressive. The stocks are 19 by uh, nine and a half in the rear plus 50. And I got 19 by 10 and a half plus 40. So not really that much of a difference, but it should do a little bit better. It should be a little bit better than that. And here are the wheels. Um, pretty clean black wheel. They kind of remind me of the Apex wheels that they make for the BMWs. Um, it says these are gloss black, but the design's almost the same. And they're pretty concave as well. I don't know if you guys can tell on video, but yeah, you guys can tell they're pretty concave so these are 19 by 10 and a halves and i got that all around just because i wanted um i didn't want i knew if i got the nine and a halves they weren't going to be as concave and i wanted it to look um concave in the front and in the rear so yeah i ended up getting same size all around um but yeah these are it these are the mrr gf7s 19 by 10 and a half plus 40 so I'm just gonna test fit them on the car, make sure they're good. They do come with the GF series uh, center caps, um, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna run these. I might just run the OEM center caps. I'm gonna see if they fit. If not, um, I could probably just order some custom ones. But yeah, I think it'll look better if I had the Infinity logo right there. Um, but yeah. Here we are, about to pull into the shop right now. This guy blocking on it. Let's fit the rim real quick to make sure that it fits in the front before we mount the tires because they did say to make sure we test fit before we mount tires because then they won't be able to accept any returns. So yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. Stop. 
está pegando, está pegando ¿eh? en el caliper ahorita y cuando lo aprieto va a pegar, va a pegar. ahorita si lo pongo bien está pegando so, le, le tengo que poner como un spacer, spacer. ¿verdad? spacer deja ver si tenemos Damn. So it looks like with a small spacer, um, it clears. I'm not sure. I think this might be a 10 mil, a 10 mil, or I don't know. But um, it clears now with the spacer. Good. The only problem is now, um, it's not enough thread for the lug bolt. So I'm just gonna see if you have some other lug bolts that can thread onto it a little bit more. Because I mean, it has. It looks like it has a decent amount of thread stud but uh yeah so he's gonna go check that right now so yeah my boy pez just hit up one of his guys that i guess he has some special lug nuts but we need the lug nuts that go all the way in there as you can see they're like those tuner lug nuts that people use for like tees and stuff like that oh uh, yeah because these are not going in they're like hitting this and it's not allowing them to go in so Currently just waiting for the lug nuts, but man, these wheels look sick. The fitment is is great too. If you guys can see, the fitment is gonna be like pretty flush. I mean, for OEM suspension, it'll camber in a little bit, but not a lot. But as you guys can see, it's gonna be pretty flush. But, yeah. It just sucks that they didn't just fit like that with some regular lug bolts. So kind of stressing out a bit but we should be all right so bad news the only wheels that fit were the rears um the fronts for the special lug nuts that they got um for some reason they make these holes really small smaller than the standard so even the thin uh lug bolts won't even go in um so they're gonna have to redrill the front they're gonna have to make the um uh, holes a little bit bigger i think like a probably like an eighth all around will be fine so yeah they're gonna have to redrill them and uh, hopefully after they redrill them um, it'll fit so yeah on monday today's saturday they're not open tomorrow but monday so we're just gonna put the rears on and monday we should be back here to put the fronts on so hopefully it all goes well so we finally got the fronts man and look at that that just changed the whole look of the car i'll try to put a before and after of the OEM wheels and then these ones so you guys can see it like kind of back to back. but yeah we we didn't end up re-drilling the fronts because uh i just i did more research on it and i just thought it was kind of sketch um so what i ended up doing is just installing some uh, wheel stud extensions so the wheel studs that i put on there are 10 mil longer than the oem one so um that was enough you know to get some extra thread on there uh, for the lug nuts so uh, yeah we ended up doing that instead it's a super easy install uh I did make a video on that, so I'm gonna be posting that soon. Um, but yeah, if you guys need to do that, if you guys go for anything bigger than a five mil spacer, you're gonna have to need the, you're gonna need the extended wheel studs because you won't have enough thread. Maybe you'll have enough to like, you know, tighten it and then maybe you can drive it, but it's just not safe, especially if it's not a lot of thread. So I really do recommend you guys do extended wheel studs if you guys are gonna put a spacer in the front uh, bigger than a five mil. But uh, yeah, so we did that, extended wheel studs, and we're good now. So yeah, man, the car looks great. Oh, hold on, my brother just turned on that freaking hatchback and that shit is super loud for no reason, man. But uh, yeah, let me just show you guys how concave these eyes are. I know I keep saying that, but I just really like wheels that are really concave. So here, here's the... You guys can see that and then obviously they're the same in the front they're the same exact spec so you guys can see fitment is pretty good as you guys can see 
it's OEM suspension and these wheels do not look bad at all. Um, I haven't decided yet if I want to do bags or coilovers. Uh, so that's the reason why it's still OEM suspension. Um, but for sure, we're going to be building the car again. Uh, I got some full down pipes on the way, uh, new fuel system, injectors, fuel pump, uh, all, all that stuff. So a lot of stuff is coming for this car again. Um, so yeah, we are going to be building this bad boy again. And uh, hopefully we should be out there soon, um, you know, racing again. Because I know you guys love that content. I know there's not a lot of Q60s out there that are racing. I, I've seen a, a couple Q50s. Um, but I don't really see a lot of YouTubers or people posting on YouTube, um, you know, with these cars and stuff and uh, actually putting in work against faster cars, you know. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to do that so you guys can see that again. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll just keep growing. We'll keep growing. Uh, I just want to thank everyone for the support. We did uh, succeed on getting 1K subscribers. So, yeah, we reached that goal. So now we got to, you know, keep going. And get to that 10k soon but yeah i'm pretty sure once we build this thing and we start posting uh more videos i'm sorry it's cold as hell so i'm shivering right now but once we start posting more videos and stuff like that we should start growing soon um a lot of people really do like this car a lot of people were sad that um you know i told everyone i was gonna get rid of it and i was gonna sell it but you know what i just ended up thinking about it and I just want to put on for the cues, so yeah, I'm gonna stay to my roots. I'm not getting no BMW. I'm not getting no Supra, even though I really didn't want to. I'm not getting one, so I'm keeping this bad boy right here. I mean, they're discontinued, so I mean, that's another reason to keep it. You know, uh, you're not gonna see these, and most most likely, if I ever do want to get one again, all the ones on the market that are gonna be for sale are all gonna be trash or you know, beat up, high miles, and all that. So. I'm lucky to have this blessed block, freaking zero miles. Uh, well, it has like 400 miles now, but new turbos, new motor. So yeah, red sport, fully loaded, red guts. I don't even think it's open right now. I don't got the key on me, but let's see. Oh, it is open. So as you guys can see, red guts, white carbon. This car is amazing. Uh, back there but yeah man this car's in great condition so i know if i ever do want one again i'm never gonna find one like this especially with a brand new motor and brand new turbo so make sure you guys stay tuned stay tuned and you know be ready because this car's gonna be putting in work so. look at that that's how tight the fitment is i can barely fit a hundred back there so yeah it's super tight but uh, I think I put an 8 mil spacer, so I can probably get away with the 10 mil, and the filming will be a little bit better too. But um, yeah, I put an 8 mil, and it barely clears. So if you guys do want to get this spec, and you guys do want to do the extended wheel studs, because you guys want it to be uh, just as concave, you guys can go uh, 8 mil spacer, extended wheel studs, at least 10 millimeters longer, and uh, yeah, you guys should be good. But one last look at the wheels. And that's gonna be it for this video. So yeah, make sure you guys like the video, make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for this content, man. Cause you know, it's coming. All right, peace.